It's been uh, three days since we arrived here in the Bahamas and Georgetown and we have found a very, very protected spot. So it's been really nice and comfortable here. But it's not the most fun spot. I think it's been an old industrial uh, like harbor for some factory. So the weather, uh, the water is not very nice and the surroundings, it's not like white beaches, how you uh, picture uh, the Bahamas. So we really want to move a bit north. Um, today seems like a good day to do that and I hope we have found a good spot that we can uh, hide out uh, again <laughs> tonight. Uh, but uh, it's uh, been a bit tricky uh, trying to plan our time here. Our draft of two meters, um, all the best spots, it's a lot more shallow than that. And also the winds, um, the lows are still forming over the US East Coast and they are messing up the winds here so there are a lot of easterly winds sorry westerly winds there are a lot of westerly winds coming um coming in the coming week uh, and the entire exumas chain is mostly exposed to the westerlies so yeah it's a bit tricky to find good hideout spots but uh, we will leave in a few hours here and we will do our best as you can see, we have almost 360 degrees protection here. So it's been a perfect spot. Today the wind is coming from southwest, so it's a pretty good day to move a bit. And we are planning to take a like 25 nautical mile sail up north of the chain of Exumas. And hopefully we can find a well protected anchorage there. Um, the wind will turn almost 180 degrees uh, this night so it's a bit tricky to find good protection but we hope that we can manage even though we are uh, have a bit of a deep draft here uh, for sailing here but uh, we will do a rest if you're ready to leave we are ready to head out of here so let's go It's a bit uh, tight in here to the cut, so I'm following our old track on uh, that we made when we headed in. Uh, you can put them on the chart, uh, so you can just follow the same way in that you did out. Um, but I'm just uh, gliding along, uh, actually sailing on the rig, I don't use the engine, just to keep a low speed. Uh, there are a few uh, rocks around and a few sandbanks that we don't want to hit. So um, yeah, we're taking it slow. There's a boat in the middle of uh, our old, uh, uh, <laughs> old uh, track into this uh, anchorage. Yeah. So we have to sneak around him so uh, we can get out. Marcus just threw our uh, food container into the water. <laughs> Luckily it's uh, floating. It's recovered. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Some uh, very unexpected uh, mob training. <laughs> Well, uh, we are a bit lucky that this happened where it's quite deep, uh, so that um, yeah, around us it's less than two meters, but where we are right now it's more like four or five, so we had uh, some room to maneuver and uh, to retrieve it. But um, yeah, I didn't see that one coming. Marcus was just going out to roll out the jib, and then all of a sudden uh, we had a food container in. Uh, in the water.
We're sailing uh, upwind uh, along the Exhumas chain. Uh, mostly there's easterly winds here, but today it's westerly, so we are beating against the wind. The waves are quite small, so uh, it's quite nice, uh, actually, but <laughs> it's a bit wet. Uh, the weather is not sunny, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice sail. We are uh, almost uh, at the cut into the anchorage and uh, it's raining quite a lot. So for the first time in like, I think since maybe we sailed in Europe, I have my jacket on. Well, we have arrived and it's the most shitty anchorage I think we've ever had. So we really keep our fingers crossed that the wind is going to turn more north and that we will be protected by the island. But right now we have like 30 knots of wind, rain and no protection. So not very good. We are going to stay here and make some lunch and see what happens with the weather. And maybe look at the chart and see if we have some other options. Uh, but yeah, for lunch, this will uh, have to do, and then we'll see how the weather changes. Uh, Are you wet? Super wet. What a nasty place. Do you re regret your decision to not take your jacket on? Embrace the summer. Yes. Oh. It's like Swedish summer. Rainy and windy and a bit cold. Ooh. It's always interesting when you come down after a sail like this uh, to see what you what items you can find in a place where you did not put them. We have, for instance, a lamp in the chair. It was uh, on that shelf up there by the books when we left. Uh, pretty well tucked away, but apparently not well enough. And we also have this little locker down here. Uh, all the items flew out uh, mid-sale, so I just uh, stuck them on the floor there. But um, yeah, I don't know, that happened when we sailed to the Bahamas as well, so there's something wrong with this, uh, this lock. Uh, so we have to fix that. But uh, yeah, things, uh, even though you think you uh, put everything away, uh, they can come flying and most of them we sail uh, like on a starboard tack uh, this was on a port tack yeah and um, that means that our uh, normal uh, like stowaway uh, routine gets a bit messed up but yeah mo mostly it's not uh, things flying everywhere but uh, today it was Now it's working apparently. Wondering what's happening when we are sailing. Why it's not uh, holding up then, but I can pull with like almost full force now. Strange. It's uh I was about to say that the sun is setting, but uh, there is no sun, so can it technically be setting then? Well, uh, it's getting dark <laughs> and uh, the wind just swifted. We had a huge cloud coming over us with a lot of rain. It's been raining since we got here, uh, but this one was a really huge squall. And before the squall, we had like 30 knots of wind and then the cloud passed and now we're down to like 10 to 12 knots of wind and it just sw uh, shifted so uh, now we're actually a bit protected on the island so if it continues like this it looks like it's going to be a 
okay night, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Feels like it was a good decision to actually stop here. That is uh, the cloud that passed us before. Really dark and just whoosh, and uh, it changed the wind. Perfect. And the watercolor is crazy here at sunset. It's very strange blue green, almost whitish uh, color. The winds have uh, come down a bit and this is uh, what we woke up to, like the perfect blue clear water and we are actually pretty well protected. There was a swell rolling in somewhere midnight but other than that I think we picked a pretty good spot. So next up for us is that tomorrow uh, it will be a pretty calm day, so we are going to move a bit. And then we're going to have uh, quite a lot of confusing winds before it settles down uh, during the weekend. So we're going to find a new hideout spot uh, tomorrow when it's calm. And then uh, in the weekend we can start like day jumping as it looks right now. So we're really much looking forward to that and uh, we're going to take the day to prepare like doing water, uh, doing some editing, just so that we have that in like our backlog, um, so that we won't be stressed if we, we are going to move every day. I took on the project fixing uh, the lockers uh, that opened during sailing uh, when we came here. Uh, we have a lot of these locks on Linnea. They're really, really good. Uh, we have them everywhere and they work really great. Uh, unfortunately, the one down here uh, opens. Turns out inside of this uh, like cabinets, there are little small plastic thing that you can adjust where the lock like locks into. Uh, the one down there that we have a lot of stuff in doesn't have one of these. So I uh, I will mount one of these. It has to be like modified. The other ones are a bit like cut so they fit precisely. Um, I don't know why but you have to do the like fixing and cutting and redesigning because they cannot fit if you don't. So uh, I have to cut this one and hopefully the lock can be more uh, safe after. So I am uh, on with the metal saw. It's perfect to cut plastic in a, in a precise way when you don't have like machine tools. Um, the hard part is to just fixate it so it can be a nice clean cut. I have this super tiny bench wise uh, so hopefully I can get help uh, from that one when uh, cutting, in, cut, cutting it with uh, metal saw. So I can use one of the old ones uh, on the other uh, drawers and lockers. Uh, as I can use as a template, so I need know uh, how to cut it. That were better than expected. It fits perfectly. I think this will be a great improvement uh, of opening hatches in storm. And before. So this will be great. That was really smooth bolt work for once. Uh, it turned out really, really great, and uh, hopefully, the stuff in the cabinet won't fall out when we lean uh, at starboard. Uh, 
as you uh, maybe can see, uh, we have uh, a new anger spot. Or actually, maybe you can't see because it looks quite <laughs> the same as the last one. But uh, we moved a bit today and we have arrived to this, uh, this new spot. And not sure if we're going to be here in a couple of days or if we have to move again tomorrow. But around the corner here, there's supposed to be a pink iguana beach with pink iguanas. So we are ready to jump into the dinghy to head over and check it out. There's so many of them <laughs> and I don't really like that that one is heading towards me but they don't seem to like the water so I think I'm safe here but ah oh, they look so mean but it's kind of cool that there are so many here and they're actually a, a bit pink I thought that someone was just uh, a bit loco to call them pink iguanas but uh, they have a pinkish, pinkish shade on like their legs and uh, like here on their chest, I guess. Uh, some of the big ones have on their back as well. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, I think they're really cool. Uh... Just filmed one uh, while it's like cleaning the other one, uh, like the skin falls off, dries and falls off. So uh, the small one was eating the, the skin that fall, fell off uh, the big one. There's a few of them uh, by the dinghy now, and uh, Em is uh, not so pleased. He was trying to feed them, so now there's like five or six around the dinghy, all thinking that they're going to get some leaves. <laughs> 